Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Reverend Mike Eniola. Welcome to Tuesday, the 22nd day of October 2024. Open your mouth this morning and be saying, Amen, I believe as I receive. In the book of Psalm 91, Psalm 91 verse 10, the book of Psalm 91 and verse number 10, the Lord said, the word of God said, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. I want to pray for somebody this beautiful Tuesday morning, that no evil will befall you and your family today. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no day that does not come. There is no day without its own evil. But for everyone that is connected to this platform this morning, whether you are hearing it directly or somebody is sending it to you, whether you are connected to, the, to this platform directly or you are receiving it from another person, as long as you are hearing the sound of my voice today, I am praying for you that no evil will befall you and your family. For the rest days of this year, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, no evil will come near you. Evil will not come near your family. Evil will not come near your, your, your place of work. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever the devil has planned or is planning against you and your loved ones today, in the name that is above every other name, I say no, it will not happen in Jesus' name. He said, No evil, there shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come near you. So I use this scripture, Psalm 91, verse 10. I make it to become a rema to you that no evil will befall you, whether in the daytime, at noon, or in the night. The Lord will exempt you and your family from all evils and disasters in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone hearing me this Thursday, this Tuesday morning, the Lord will crown your effort with success. The Lord will provide for your needs and God will send you help from above. You will not be stranded today. You will not go to where the Lord will not be with you. You will not miss your mark. You will not miss your helpers today. Everyone that the Lord has ordained and destined to be of help and assistance to you today, the Lord will make your path to come to each other. In Jesus' name, everyone that is sick, I pray today that the power of the living God will touch you right away and you will be healed in Jesus' name. You are blessed and you are lifted. Somebody say a believing amen. I believe as I receive. Hallelujah. Today in our Bible reading, we are still in the book of Luke. Today we are reading chapters 15 and 16. Gospel according to St. Luke, chapters number 15 and 16. Please read those two chapters and the Lord will bless you. In our daily devotional book, Daily Communion with God, we are on page 310. Page 310, and the heavenly meal today is titled, Serving Two Masters. Serving Two Masters. The Lord bless you as you read. Let me take one or two testimonies as time will permit us. To one of, either one or two. The first one I'm taking is a good day, sir. I'm so so person from Lokoja. I want to appreciate God for joining mercy for, and for the grace to overcome the spirit of fear. I was planning of traveling first week of August, but I, I didn't because of the spirit of fear. When the journey date was approaching, I started developing the fear of accident, being scared of death, etc. In fact, the devil made my thought so negative towards that journey. But on the very day I wanted to embark on that journey, I listened to the Hour of Destiny that was on the 11th of August, where someone testified of Daddy prayed for him for journey mercies, and God did it. I keyed into that testimony, and I told God to do the same for me. 
that I will return to testify to. Praise God. I went on that journey and returned on the 27th of the month successfully to the glory of God. Thank you, sir. The oil on your head will never run dry in Jesus' name. Amen. Maybe you also you want to travel and you are afraid, you are scared, so to say. I banish that spirit of fear from your heart and I decree that that journey shall be successful in Jesus' name. Another one is here. Good evening, man of God. How is the ministry doing, sir? My name is Soso Persin from Ibadan. I want to return all the glory to God of Reverend Mike Eniola because when I was going to see my son on Tuesday, I kept mentioning God of Reverend Mike Eniola intervened and, my, and healed my son. He was healed and he was discharged from the following day. And also same day, God of Reverend Mike delivered my son from the spirit of error. Indeed, our God is a faithful God. Thank you, sir. And your anointing will never run dry in Jesus' mighty name. Please share my testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Let me take one more. Let me take one more. Good evening. Good afternoon, Reverend Eniola, the servant of the living God. Testimony, testimony. Man of God, help me share this testimony for what, for what God has done in my life and the life of my daughter who passed who passed our exam, who passed our jump exam, and also myself, I've been promoted to the rank of ASP in the Nigerian Police Force after uh, this after seven years and four months. But through the help of God, of Reverend Eniola and our prayers, have been promoted. The house of God should help me shout seven big hallelujah. Pastor Eniola, the oil on your head will never run dry in Jesus' mighty name. I'm so so person from Meadow State, but walking in Enugu. Please greet man of please, man of God, share my testimony. Congratulations. Everybody, please help join this brother to shout seven thunderous hallelujah. What you do for others, God will make it happen for you too. Hallelujah. This morning, let's go to hear the word. Yesterday, I began to share with us the word I titled sensitive, Be Sensitive. How it is very important for us to activate our sensitivity, both in the spirit and in the physical. I remember I told us that there are so many people that have lost their lives because of lack of sensitivity. A woman sent a message, whether a man or a woman sent yesterday, and said, Daddy, what you are saying is true, that I was not sensitive enough. And because of that, I was scammed because of online business. As you are hearing me this morning, God has given you the Holy Spirit. Before you entered into any deal, before you entered into any transaction, ask the Holy Spirit, if it is going to be real or genuine, be sensitive in the things of the spirit. Yesterday we read the story, the account of the great woman of Shunem, in the book of Second Kings, chapter four. How, out uh, due to uh, the, the, the ability to perceive well, she was able to get something done, and the miracle happened in her life and her family. If not for that. That woman and her husband would have gone to the grave childless, but because of her being highly sensitive. As you are hearing me this morning, I don't know what is happening around you. I remember I did a teaching not too long ago about, about the five senses, especially in the realm of the spirit. One of them is ability to pick divine signals. I told her, I said, with your nose, you can pick foul odor, you can pick, you know, offensive odor around you. I told us in that teaching that demons smell. And if your spiritual nose is not working, you might be living in the same room with demonic activity, demonic person, and you will not know. But I'm praying for everyone hearing the sound of my voice this morning. I will continue on this tomorrow. Ability to perceive and ability to be sensitive, to be able to be sensitive to things around you. The woman of Shunem was sensitive and she got a miracle. I don't know what you are believing God for. You also 
be you know you also raise the standard of your sensitivity don't let your sensitivity die i will be telling us certain things that can make one not to be able to pick signals again because when you constantly disobey the prompting of the holy spirit it will get to a point that you will no longer receive divine signal but i'm praying for everyone hearing the sound of my voice this morning that the grace of god will not depart from your life remember it is good to be sensitive there are many people that come around today that tell lies oh i remember even in the church so many people have come and they've told us big lies many times we fell for it i remember some years ago in mina a man came to church to come and scam us and i fell for it by even asking the the, the treasurer at that day to give him the whole offering we got on daddy because of the picture they painted but the treasurer said daddy this man is lying this true this story is not true and i said okay even if the story is not true let's help him out few years later the same man came to our church apparently he never knew i would remember him he came to our church again to come and tell another story and i came out to i said you are this same person who came some years ago to come and lie to us in this church now you are here again you have not repented and that was how he ran away as you are hearing me this morning always listening to the voice of the spirit in you that is what i mean by being sensitive both in the physical and in the spiritual the lord will help you to activate your sensitivity in the mighty name of jesus christ remember to read your bible today the book of luke chapters 15 and 16 and read your devotional on page 310 with the heavenly meal that is titled serving two masters the lord bless you today and may god help you to make your day in jesus name amen